Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Carton Brewing's Heller Box Style. And it's called Ron's Steambach Haircut. What a wild name for a beer, guys. Um, and this is a lager. And this is a collaboration with Green Flash and Alpine Brewing. All three of them collaborated on this. 6.6% uh, alcohol. It says I'll be using a 25 on this. Commercial description says spring is a time for a fresh look. Before there was a carton brewing, there was a couple of cartons drink couple carton drinking beer. A lot of what we were drinking was hoppy beers from Green Flash and Alpine. Ron Steenbach haircut is us playing our game with West Coast friends that help guide our tastes for hops. Brewing in and for spring, the carton green flash alpine threesome took the opportunity to do what we do to a spring classic. Cali uh, California lager yeast, one straight forward Maybach malt bill, gently but decidedly touched up with some very pretty nugget hops from Crosby Hop Farm. Drink Ron's Seenbach haircut whether you're shaking off Jersey's real or San Diego's pretended one. So, I'm not a big lager fan. Don't buy a lot of lagers, don't drink a lot of lagers, so uh, they don't have quite enough taste for this, but they. The Hellsbach is a little more tasty, plus this one has been boosted up with the Nugget Hops and stuff. So we'll see what this uh, threesome collaboration does. Carton Brewing, I've been getting, uh, Rico's been sending me a lot of beers. This came from Rico, he sent it to me. Uh, they've been doing some pretty tasty stuff up there. Uh, and they're up in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey area. So uh, let's see if the uh, East Coast Carton Brewing, along with the West Coast, Green Flash and Alpine Brewing have come together with here. So uh, we've gone through everything. Food pairings for this style of beer, guys. It says here, cuisine is Italian, German. Cheese is nuttery, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan. Meat is fish, shellfish, and salmon. Glassware is a flute, pilsner glass, or pokel, mug, or stein, stein, or sidel. This is my pilsner glass here, guys. Uh, and it says here, not recommended for extending salary. Uh, this is a 6.6 percenter, and it was canned on April the 28th, 28th or 29th. I can't make it whether it's an 8 or 9 on there, 2016. Big 16 ounce can, so without further ado, let's get this puppy into the glass. And I'm going to pour it kind of gently because a lot of these lagers produce a lot of head if you pour them aggressively. And I'd like to get it all in the glass, to be honest about it. That's a glass full of beer. 16 ounces. Got a nice caramely color with that easy pour. About a half a finger of head on top of it. Good looking beer. A little darker than your typical lagers. Of course, uh, brewed in the, uh, the Hells uh, Munich. Uh, let me read that to you here. The Maybach Hellsbach Maybach style beer tends to be lighter in color than other Bach beers and often has a significant hop character with a noticeable alcohol around the same as traditional Bach. Maybachs are custom served in the spring or are oftentimes interrelated with spring festivals and celebrations more often in the months of May. I'm reviewing this on May the 31st, guys. So uh, we're doing the May beer, Maybach beer, and, and 
to, to be a little lighter, it looks a little bit darker to me. Uh, your typical lagers are very golden in color, and this is much deeper uh, copper, browner color. Uh, good looking beer. That, that means to me, just my opinion, that they use some some darker, roastier malt in the brewing of this beer. So, let's get a nose on this one. I'm getting a little bit of a lemoniness in there. Maybe some lim lemongrass. Got a nice caramely malt base to this. Smells very delicious. Got a nice sweetness to it. It's time. First beer of the day. Cheers. Cheers, Rico. Thank you, my brother. That is tasty. For a lager, that is very tasty. A little bit of grassiness in there, but it's very subdued as opposed to your typical lagers. Man, very, very heavy, grassy, grainy. This has a lot more malty maltiness to it to go along with the hops. Now that's not a hot bomb. It does have some very citrusy notes to me. Very easy drinking. For a 6.6 percenter, very, very easy drinking. Uh, this this would be a great blonde more beer for me. Uh, I'm just not into the lower ABV ABV beer guys. Uh, these four three percenters, I mean uh, Three and four percent beers just don't blow my hair back at all. Uh, some of them have a little bit more taste than others, and some of them are, are, are decent. But if I'm going to drink a beer, uh, I want something that's at least five percent, if not six. Uh, so I can usually those beers have a little bit more taste. They do. They have they have more malt. They have more hops. Uh, it's just my opinion, though. It's just my two cents. But if you want to drink one or two of the lower ABV beers, the three, four, uh, four and a half percenters, uh, and then go back out and do what you were doing, I mean, that's a, that's a good thing to do. But I don't drink beers usually during the day, uh, for breakfast especially, and lunchtime, one, two o'clock. Uh, I'm busy. I, I'm out doing stuff, so I don't have time for that. I, uh, I usually don't drink beer. Uh, on the weekends, I usually don't drink beer until after 6 o'clock in the evening because I'm, I'm busy doing stuff. Uh, when I get home from work, say 5 o'clock, a lot of times 5.30, 6 o'clock, I'm either doing a review or, or having my first go-to beer of the evening. So I don't drink a lot of beer during the day. Once I do two, three, maybe four on a hard day, uh, I'm done. I, I'm done. I never drink more than four beers in one don't do it anymore. Don't like feeling like crap the next day. It's just me. A lot of you young bucks up there still giving hell. More pack to you. I gotta go to work every day. I can't do it anymore, guys. This is this is damn tasty. A lot more caramely notes as opposed to your temple locker. The Maybach and the Health Lock beers are usually brewed with a little bit more uh, up, if you will. So, well, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and sip on this for a few minutes. The lagers, I don't like to sip on them like the, the ales. Uh, by the ales, I'll sip on them 35, 45 minutes, sometimes even an hour, uh, depending on how, what I'm doing and how busy that I am. The lagers, uh, I usually try to drink them up in 15, 20, 30 minutes max. I like them nice and cold, whereas uh, IPA or double IPA, have some, most of them come up to room temperature for our final event at Jamal. So, let me take it back. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug and on this one. Seems to be very damn tasty right now. I think it's pretty good work from those three coming together. Hey right, guys, I'm back. I've got just a little left here. I've been sitting on it probably about 25 minutes or so. Uh, a lot more taste than your typical lagers are going to have with this style of beer. The uh, Hellerbach or Hell's Maybach, Hellerbach, 
however you want to classify this beer. A lot more rich caramelly malt, uh, nice hop profile to go with the malt on this. Uh, very tasty. I enjoyed this. This is very nice. Uh, date on the can, ABB on the can, IBUs on the can, all the information you need right on the can here. So those guys at Carton Brewing doing it, doing it right. And with the collaboration between them, Green Flash and Alpine, come up with a pretty tasty beer. Alcohol is super well hidden, not tasting any of that 6.6%. Very easy drinking. I mean, this would be a very nice lawnmower beer. And I say that not being derogatory, but it's a very easy drinking, fairly light beer. Uh, for all you guys that are not hop heads and don't like the hop profile, especially the West Coast style and the hop profile, where it's that up in your face, piney, grapefruity, pineapple taste, this is a great lager. It really, really is. It's really tasty. So, uh, for a nice change up for me, like I said, I don't buy a lot of lagers or drink a lot of lagers anymore. Uh, they seem very lacking in taste for, my, for this guy. So I drank them for 30 plus years, guys, and uh, that's all I drank just about. So uh, I like a little more taste in my beer, and this has it. But for a lager, it's very tasty. I love the rich, caramely taste of this beer. Uh, very, very pleasant. Rico, thanks again, my brother, for sending it to me. I knew when I seen it was Cotton Brewing, and uh, even after reading further that they collaborated with uh, Green Flash and Alpine, I said, this is probably going to be pretty good, and it is. Final chug. Wow. Delicious. Very, very good. Very tasty. I'm on my own on this one, guys. Uh, great beer and beer advocate. Neither one of them have enough... Uh, guys that have commented on this beer to have any ratings posted so I'm on my own here and being on my own uh, well I'm usually on my own anyway I tell you these guys rating but I tell you honestly whether I agree or disagree with what they're saying sometimes I do sometimes I don't sometimes I agree with one and not the other sometimes I agree with both sometimes I don't agree with either one of them so with me having the information I have on this can and the taste that I'm getting from this can it's an A beer as far as I'm concerned. I think it's an A beer as a matter of fact. So uh, I'm going to give this an 8, which is an A minus. Uh, if I was putting a numeric rating on this, this beer, guys, it would probably be a 91 or a 92. Very, very tasty. Definitely worth picking up. I would buy this if I could get Carton Brewing's beers here. It's a very nice change. Now, I don't know how this is packaged, whether it's a four pack or a six pack, and uh, what it costs uh, per four pack or six pack, but it is very tasty. It is very nice, a nice change up, like I said, from uh, from the ales I typically drink. And this has enough taste to satisfy this guy. So, uh, very nice, very well done. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from uh, from Carton Brewers, where it's this particular one is done by, so I don't know if Green Flash did their own version or if Alpine did their own version of it. This is Carton's version, this is Carton's packaging, this is where it was brewed at. Very nice. If you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go dig something tasty out of the bridge. See you then. Well, the help I turn this around.